And if anybody wants to come and beat me up, <laughs> by God, come on out. How, how many of you would like to hit me right now? You said forever, now we're living up and out of space. We're so far out, up in the middle of the clouds, between night and day. Took me a sec to get the hang of it, about time that I let go when I let you in, I know. Good morning, saints. I thought it'd be nice if I just touch base with all of you to let you know that I'm doing exactly what I do every single summer season here in Minnesota. Stand on the side of the road and sell fresh fruits and vegetables for three months, 101 or 109 days, depending upon the Gregorian calendar anyway. I just had to take time out of my busy schedule, work schedule, to let you know. I think they're bringing in the alien invasion. Bombshell claims from a military whistleblower, UFO wreckage recovered by the U.S., kept classified by a secret government program for decades. We have spacecraft from another species. We do, yeah. How many? Quite a number. You're kidding. No. I thought it was totally nuts, and I thought at first I was being deceived. It was a ruse. People started confiding in me. They approached me. It's all chaos. It's all confusion, and we all know it. But the next big hoo-ha, the next big Donnybrook, the next big dust em up is the fake alien invasion. So prepare yourselves. Prepare yourselves, saints. I believe it because of all the sources I have who have told me the same thing. So who am I to doubt these very, very high-level people who have been inside these programs for decades, have done their work, and are all telling me the same thing? I mean, I, I don't think there's some kind of a conspiracy among all these people who don't know each other. Ready, set, go. For years, there have been whispers and rumors that the government had aircraft of non-human origin. This report is the first evidence it might be true. Really hard to wrap your mind around this. I've been working on this for the past couple of weeks. I'm still having a hard time processing right. uh, processing all of it. All, over the last couple of years, it sort of became mainstream to discuss UFOs. The government has released videos. They've acknowledged that we don't know what some of this stuff is out there that we have on camera, but this really takes it all to another level. For the very first time, the world is about to hear from a former high-level U.S. intelligence officer who says the government has some of the unidentified craft in its possession. He is revealing these exclusive details about the secret government program. I've got to be blunt about this. Yeah. You're not making this up. This no. is not a lie. No, absolutely not. Because everybody watching this right now is looking at your face. Mm -hmm. They're going, is this guy for real? I am for real. And I'm, you know, I'm sitting here at great personal risk and obvious professional risk by talking to you today. But there's no documents that he's handed over. There's no pictures. And as a journalist, you want to see documents. You want to see pictures. Does that raise a red flag? Not at all, Brian. I mean, you mean documents that actually describe the craft? Correct. That, yeah, like government yeah. documents, or to, to be able to see it for ourselves. Of course. Don't we all want that? I, I, I got to ask you. I, I, you know, he has a compelling story to tell. Very little of it seems like first-hand knowledge. Isn't he just repeating what somebody else has told him or somebody else has showed him? Yes. If you're telling us the truth, mm -hmm. everyone, the entire American public, has been lied to for decades. Yeah, there's a sophisticated uh, disinformation campaign targeting the U.S. populace, which is extremely unethical and immoral. It's also harder for people to wrap their minds around the concept of a crashed object from somewhere else, it's easier to accept that, yeah, we see things in the sky that we can't explain. We've not seen or verified the alleged proof he says he's provided to investigators. He says he can't show us the proof for national security reasons. He also tells us he's not seen photos of the alleged craft himself, but has talked extensively with other intelligence officials who have. 
books. What conclusion did you come to at the end of your time on the UAP task force? Uh, the UAP task force was refused access to um, a broad crash retrieval program. When you say crash retrieval, what do you mean? Uh, these are retrieving non-human origin uh, technical vehicles, you know, call it spacecraft if you will, non-human, exotic origin vehicles that have either landed or crashed. Yeah. Do we have bodies? Do we have species of... What? Well, naturally, um, when you recover something that's either landed or crashed, um, sometimes you encounter um, dead pilots. And uh, believe it or not, as, fan as fantastical as that sounds, it's true. Think about it, Elizabeth. If you go back 15 or 20 years, if we were sitting here talking about UFOs, people would think that we were nutty. Um, now it's gotten to the level of where it is somewhat accepted because the government has come forward to a certain extent and acknowledged that there are these videos that exist. The Navy has released the videos themselves and said, we're not sure exactly what this is that we're seeing. Uh, of course, what, what Gresh is saying really just sort of takes it to the next level. Boy, it sure does. It's almost impossible to believe. All right. Rocket ship, you're my, you're my universe. I'm attracted to the stars you take and shoot them back. Now we're dancing round to all your magic. I'm a rocket ship. You're my planet. UFOs exist. The U.S. government found quite a number of them, and they are indeed of non-human origin. For all your latest outer space alien invasion updates, watch television. <laughs> no, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. We all were deceived. We all had the spinning ball put in our classroom from the time we were little, little wee tots that says on the bottom, not for educational purposes. Thanks a lot for searching that out. I appreciate that. Fisherman in the box. Fisherman in a box.